Good day everyone. Today Julius Malema made a threat to President Cyril Ramaphosa and in this headline in News 24 after the ending of their 10 year celebration it says when we take over in 2024 EFF will lock up corrupt ANC leaders including Ramaphosa Malema said and we have discussed many times in the past that when you create a void in government because there is no government, there is no proper governance taking place, uh, the country is suffering for many different reasons, that some people will always try and fill that void. And often those people can be more radical. And if you replace one government with another, you could actually have a worse situation than the one you had before. Now I'm not going to speak about how the EFF will govern because we have not seen them in government but they managed to fill the FNB stadium up in Joburg uh, with over 100,000 people. They asked uh, the stadium management to allow people onto the pitch. The, the entire stadium was filled. Unfortunately one person was killed when he fell from level 5 to level 2. Uh, apparently the person was dancing and uh, lost their balance. So uh, condolences to the person, his friends and family and for those who experienced that event. It's certainly not something you want at uh, an event like this. And this event was well supported by other political parties. And I'll put a link to this article, you can go and read it. But uh, what's interesting to know is that UDM President Bantu Olomisa Bosa Deputy Nobuntu Slazo uh, Webster, uh, the deputy for Musi Memani's party that he started, and ATM President Voyowetu Zungula were present and shared messages of support. So what you are seeing is a lot of people said that the EFS is finished, they don't have any more support. Uh, the amount of people that they got at this gathering, gatherings does show you support. It's a good indication of the real level of support you have, not apathetical support, proper support. And um, I think the ANC must be really concerned after this weekend and their 10 uh, year celebrations. So we will only see in the elections what actually transpires. Many things can change uh, till then. But all I can tell you is the EFF is stronger than ever. Uh, I don't think their election uh, vote count is going to drop at all. Uh, in, in fact, I believe at, at this stage, based on evidence and polls, that it will increase. So um, there's many factors that play into this. And I will discuss it over the, uh, the coming uh, weeks and months as we build up to the 2024 elections. And as I've said before, many of the things that Julius Malema says and that the EFF stands for, uh, I understand. I have sympathy for it. Their methods cannot and never will work. Uh, you need a free market to operate in. You cannot have the state control all the land. You cannot have the state uh, be the people that's the be all and end all. You need to be a perfectly benevolent dictator to pull something like that off. And I don't believe that exists anywhere in the world, short of you being uh, what the world would call God. So I have a huge problem with what is taking place right now. And that problem is that the fact that we have this really pathetic government of which the EFF is part, uh, and the fact that this government is failing, and when I say government, it's everyone in parliament, the whole government structure, which is far more than just the politicians. It's failing the people of South Africa. It's failing the infrastructure and many other things. This was all planned meticulously. And because I understand these plans, uh, understand how long ago they were actually planned, hatched by who and how it is being implemented, we can mitigate this. Mitigation means that you turn it into the best outcome possible. It doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It's going to be difficult. The fact that the EFF can now, based on low cheering and many of the other failures, uh, garner and get more support is very telling. Uh, whether they have a million members or not, I don't know, but they have said that their membership count is over a million people. That is a large um, percentage of the 60 million South Africans. And if you can mobilize those people, you can do to the country whatever you want. 
So at this stage, people that are afraid of Julius Malema, don't be. If he was intent on doing something to the country or overthrowing the government, he would have done it a long time ago. Based on what I see now, he still believes in the current governance system and processes. And um, besides the fact that the current governance system is usually problematic, the electoral system is usually problematic, the fact that he still speaks about the constitution, believes in that, um, should put you at ease. Because if he was more militant than that, we would be in real trouble. If he could really uh, rally uh, that amount of people, you can overthrow any government anywhere in the world. So Julius Malema is seeing real power right now. And this is why he's making these threats, uh, saying that uh, they will arrest Cyril Ramaphosa and all the other people um, that are corrupt ANC officials and he feels empowered, emboldened by what he sees in the crowds and he says when we take over next year we are arresting Ramaphosa, he's going to jail, he stole, stole money in South Africa, he hasn't been arrested, Ramaphosa is not above the law, Ramaphosa must go to jail, so he's judge, jury, the whole lot in one go. Uh, Julius Malema has already put himself above the current systems of state and that should be concerning to you because there's two separate things happening here. Uh, there's something happening to him as an individual and something happening to the organization of the EFF, to the members. Uh, when an organization like this gets emboldened, you get two things happening. The leader can be under threat from other people, will start seeing other people as a threat, just like the leader in North Korea and many other governments. When they see threats, they get rid of those threats. And recently, Julius Malema has been threatening other leaders within the EFF, saying that they shouldn't challenge his authority and position. You already see a dictator in the making. Now, whether you can pull that off or not, uh, only time will tell. However, when the members get emboldened the way they do and that leader cannot control them that is a completely different thing altogether and that is what i'm most concerned about to deal with one person is fairly easy to deal with a, mi a million members if they have a million members that can actively be called on to do things especially if it's done uh covert can be a tough cookie to deal with. And our state is in no position to deal with anything like that. And it's the current governance system that has brought us to this place, that's made the EFF possible. It is the ANC's uh, absolute uselessness that has created the economic freedom fighters and what they stand for. And once again, I have sympathy for how they feel. I have no sympathy for their methods. I believe that with Omega training, we will be able to empower all South Africans from all walks of life, backgrounds, creeds, beliefs, etc. to be empowered to remain free, to not be dependent on government. The, the government that Julius Malema wants to create, that the ANC has created, the power that the DA wants because of election votes. In the near future, uh, organizations like the DA will become completely irrelevant and they will be overtaken by corporations. Corporations will do the dirty work because the DA, if they cannot make any inroads in the next elections, uh, they will literally be wiped under the carpet. They will be finished. If you can get corporations to do what the political parties were supposed to do for these overseas interests, why do you need them? You don't need them anymore. And um, it's going to be interesting run up to the 2024 elections. Just remember, there is an option now to vote for the organic humanity movement to change the governance system, to bring a system into place where we can directly elect the president. And there's no reason why Julius Malema can't believe in that system. He should get enough votes if he has that much support to get into parliament. And uh, if he believes that the country will vote for him as a president, then Julius, you should take on that system, uh, promote that system and see if the country will elect you directly as president of South Africa. Uh, I think you rather need the current system to empower and embolden you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember that on this channel, 
we do not speak mainstream. We give you our perspective on what is happening in the world. And it is with regards to freedom. And we will be providing training. We are starting the process in September of this year. The Omega training, it will be for free for you to be able to empower yourself so we can mitigate all these things that are happening. And that is what we need to focus on. For you to become self-reliant, for you to make sure that you have the five things you need for survival so you don't depend on government and large corporations. Thank you very much. Till the next video.